Being a technology leader, that is, Hitachi understands this and in their quest of delivering the best in-class experience to its consumers, Hitachi has inaugurated its Engineering Excellence Center in Chennai today. This press conference this afternoon is organized to share with all of you the details of the Engineering Excellence Center and request him to join us on stage. Also along with him this afternoon, we are thrilled to have Mr. Gurmeet Singh in Chennai. May I first up request Mr. Franz Savinka, Global CEO Johnson Controls Hitachi Air Conditioning to join us forward and uh, share with our audience about Thank you, all, all of you for, you know, for taking the time to attend this, this press conference. Um, it's, uh, it, like I said, it's a very special occasion because it's uh, not every day that we have a grand opening for a, an engineering and a service uh, an engineering center like the one we just did uh, earlier today. Um, this is really uh, a very clear uh, message to not only our partners, our customers, but also our employees about our full commitment that we have. Uh, a, a pleasure to see uh, how dedicated our employees and the whole team that put these centers together, they just did an outstanding job. Um, you know, the reason why we decided to put these um, excellent centers, engineering centers together is very simple. It's because of our customers. Our manufacturing plant already manufactures probably the best quality and highest technology products and air conditioning in the industry. Um, we have some of the highest efficiency air conditioning units that are in the market. In fact, we have the highest efficiency products in the market. Yeah. So as we uh, informed you that we've opened an engineering excellence center today in Chennai. So I'm, I'm sure uh, you would like to have a look at what is it, what does it look like. So we put up a montage of some pictures I would like to show you on this uh, screen. We will have four of them in a year. You can understand what is the thing that we're talking about, almost 12,000 in, in a year. And if you look at a three-year horizon, which we have currently roadmapped, is about 30 or 35 or 1,000 people on training. That is what we have intended. 